Kratos has, has undergone a lot of change. So that when he ends God of War 3 and is transitioning into this one, there's a period of time where he's kind of wandering the earth alone, right? And he believes being alone is probably better. He thought his interactions with people was a problem. The reality is, like, he has internal problems and he needs to face those. He needs to deal with them. In my mind, he has hit rock bottom emotionally. He is in a time when the gods and the monsters are wandering the earth, but he's also in this headspace where he's open, even subconsciously more open to change. His ways in the Greek era were, it's your fault. I did something bad, it's your fault, or it's your fault, or it's your fault. It's never his fault. He's not ready to deal with any of these things. And I think as he's arrived in Scandinavia, he's open to that, he just doesn't know how to do it. Feed us. And that's the importance of having Atreus involved in all of this. Atreus is the hand that pulls humanity out of his sort of dark heart, right? This thing that he stamped down. Because when he does do it, when he can successfully do it, it feels right, it feels earned, and it feels like you have accomplished something. It's so much more satisfying to take somebody that, that has fallen so far and actually give them some redemption, right? He's not gonna reach the end of the game and ride the white horse and save everyone. He is not on the heroic journey. He is on the journey of at least regaining a, a small fraction of his humanity. Find your way home. You are free. For the players.